Why do you want to be our next mayor? What yeah. sets you apart from the other candidates? Sure, I, I grew up in this in this community and I've always had a deep desire to serve my city. Daniel Davis grew up on the west side as the son of a pastor and the youngest of five children. He served on the Jacksonville City Council and in the State House, led the Northeast Florida Builders Association, and for the last decade has served as the CEO of the Jacksonville Chamber of Commerce. Really, the citizens are selecting the next CEO of the city of Jacksonville, and I have 25 years of experience. Davis's political platform is based on public safety, building the economy, education, and improving the city's infrastructure. We need to make workforce housing a part of our infrastructure program. If we're bringing people here, creating jobs, and they can't afford the apartment they live in, what are we doing as a community? And I think that we need to look at that in our capital improvement program as well. On the topic of infrastructure, a new poll from the Public Opinion Research Lab at the University of North Florida reveals 61% of voters somewhat or strongly opposed using millions of dollars in public funds to help with the Jags stadium renovations. Davis says he plans to negotiate on behalf of the people. We are going to have a very fair deal. We're going to have a very transparent deal. But it's what's happening outside the stadium and on our streets that's a concern for voters. That same poll shows voters believe crime is the most important problem facing Jacksonville and a solution is needed. We bring the community back into City Hall to discuss how we can do that. We bring City Hall out into the community to make sure that we understand what's happening. But we also put police officers on the street. When it comes to putting more law enforcement on city streets. We can do that. We can add more officers to the street while we are keeping our taxes low and keeping the expenses at City Hall low. Davis has faced criticism for being absent at some candidate forums, such as the D.W. Perkins Bar Association candidate forum. I measure everything in my campaign based on could I be at somebody's front door talking to them about what they need in this community. So my opponents can criticize all they want. But we know what we're doing and what's most effective, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Davis knows politics can get divisive. He's been on both sides of some ugly campaign ads. But he thinks it's worth going through the process to be the next mayor. The citizens are tired of it. I think the voters are tired of it. And I think we should be talking about uh, more policy-based issues like we're talking about today. And I can't wait to get to that point to where we get on the other side and we can serve the citizens. And I also asked Davis whether he supports removing Confederate monuments. He says he doesn't believe tax dollars should be used to do it, and he believes there are some private sector solutions to the issue. Remember, early voting is underway right now. Election Day is March 21st. And First Coast News is sitting down with all seven mayoral candidates for a one-on-one -on -one look at their platforms. I spoke with Democratic candidate Audrey Gibson. We'll have that interview for you tomorrow night on First Coast News at 6. And for everything you need to know ahead of the Jacksonville City elections, text the word election to the number on your screen, 904-633-2402. We'll send you a link to First Coast News' voter guide.